time we'll attempt to overclock the iX38 Quad GT again. Let's first off take a look at this configuration. Last time we utilized air cooling and liquid nitrogen with overclocking. This time we'll be using a compression cooling system for OC. There are two ways to make the temperature drop under 0 degrees Celsius when overclocking. One way is to use liquid nitrogen, dry ice, or other similar elements to make the temperature drop. Although we can reach a low temperature with a liquid nitrogen and dry ice, both matters evaporate rather quickly and need to be replenished constantly. Therefore, this technique can be done only for a short period of time. Another cooling technique is used by Freon. Freon is a compressor vaporizer and carries the heat from CPU. Sharing the same concept as air conditioners and refrigerators, when Freon vaporize in a compressor, the gas carries the heat from the CPU. Although the temperature point cannot drop as low as utilizing liquid nitrogen, the greatest advantage is its durability and circulation system. First, turn on the compressor to decrease CPU temperature. We will evaluate this board's performance with 3 d Mark 06 and we are using two pieces of ATI HD 2000 XT in crossfire mode. The VapoShare system controls the temperature, sensors, and safety of the entire PC. After everything is settled down, we are ready to boot up the system. In our last episode with uh, liquid nitrogen cooling, we only tuned one single parameter. This is the CPU external speed. This time, we will adjust the DRAM speed, timing, and disable other devices which are not related to overclocking. 3 Marks is a worldwide benchmark for testing performance of advanced 3D games. 3 Mark uses advanced real-time 3D game workloads to measure PC performance using uh, such tools as DirectX 9, 3D get, graphics test, uh, CPU test, and 3D feature test. We can see the configuration and OC results here. So far, the external speed has reached 490 megahertz. Let's keep the multipliers at 10 times so that the CPU can reach 4.9 gigahertz. In the first section, the 3D mark tests the shader model 3D effect. and we can see it calculating more than 50 frames per second. In the second section, 3D Mark tests the shader model effect as well, and it calculates 59 frames per second. In the fifth section, 3D Mark tests the shader model 3.0. The test is not a direct X9, and look at the calculations, it's more than 100 pictures per second. In the sixth section, 3D Marks also tests the shader model 3.0 3D effect. Now let's see the final score. 22,314 points. Look at this, we easily passed 20,000 points. With this outstanding configuration, I believe we can easily challenge any amazing game out there.